Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another Feed the Beast test pack, please ignore, let's play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had been dabbling around with some mechanism, and uh, I'm going to continue on with that theme, delve uh, around a little bit more with some mechanism. First of all, I'm just going to show you what I've been up to off camera a little bit. So uh, as you'll notice here, I'm currently missing the engines that used to be here. I think, is that a rogue? But yeah, that is a rogue bit of wood there. Okay, I've had a bit of a rearrange. I have, in fact, moved all of the engines and cables that used to connect everything up from up here. And if we go down into my little basement downstairs, what I've been working on, this is all now complete, looking all fancy pants and uh, finished. And as you can now see, I've actually set up a load more steam dynamos. Everything's now all connected up using redstone energy conduits as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this system is coping in terms of keeping all of these engines fully stocked. It's not looking too bad at the moment, but what I'm eventually going to do is probably in the next episode, episode or two, once I've gone and dug up some more quartz, as I've realised I'm running really low, is to actually change all of this cobblestone piping into just using uh, ME export and import buses, and then just have... Um, the old uh, barrels here cooked up to uh, storage buses. But yeah, so this is all nicely set up now. So I have a really good source of power. Nothing seems to be lacking. Now I've got it all hooked up using redstone energy conduits. So these are, apart from the ultimate universal cables, I think these are the optimal way of powering my base using uh, redstone flux at the moment. So that's all set up. So this is what's powering my base. Uh, I will be setting up my mechanism machines down here in the basement somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where to go. Oh yeah, one one part of my floor I haven't quite dug up yet, which is a uh, rock, hi uh, rock hive. So from extra bees, I will get around to digging it up with a scoop at some point. But for now, what we're going to do in this episode is dig a little bit. Oops, it is. Let's not, chuck, let's, not, let's not chuck that wood away. So yeah, in this episode, we're going to be working a little bit more on, on some mechanism stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is actually hooking up some more mechanism uh, power. So I kind of showed you the heat generator, which is a very basic way of powering mechanism devices. But what I plan on doing this episode is making a couple of uh, renewable energy supplies. So we're going the whole green route in this episode. And mechanism has its own solar panels and its own wind turbines. So if we just type in mechanism like so, see if we can find them. So what we've got here is for mechanism, you've got the solar generator, which is its basic solar panel. Um, I don't know why it says uh, stored solar energy there. I think, some, I think these are all the ways of producing power using mechanisms. So we've got, obviously got the basic heat generator, which is just like a basic, uh, very basic generator, which you can just chuck some coal in. Or it also works like the old uh, thermo thermopiles from like, if it's thermopiles, something like that, from Red Power, which is back in the day. And you can basically put them like next to some lava and it generates heat that way, which is pretty cool. Then you've got the basic solar panels. Uh, you've got hydrogen generators. I'm not sure how you generate the hydrogen. I have to look into that. Bio generator, where I'm guessing you can just store some, where well, you can just chuck in like bio materials and it'll burn it up and generate power that way. Got the advanced solar panel, which we're probably going to try and make today, and the wind turbine. So uh, I'm probably going to try and make one of one or two of each of these, hook them up, see if I can hook. Now, what I'm not sure about is if I'm going to be able to hook these up using these redstone energy conduits that I got in my hand, or whether or not I'm going to have to use universal cables. We shall see at the end. I'm not quite sure yet. I forgot to look it up. So, uh, so to make the advanced solar, to make the advanced solar generator, we're going to need to make some of these basic solar generators. So. Um, a solar panel is enriched alloy, osmium, osmium ingots, uh, glass panes and redstone. So I think I've got a few of these things on me. Let me just look up how to make enriched alloys again. So that is redstone and iron. So I'm probably going to make some more of them real quick. So if we grab a little bit of iron, uh, the, my pulverizer and macerator, macerator are busy, busy working away on all the ores that I've put into my system. So let me just grab a little bit of iron. So just grab half a stack. Um, I'm gonna. I've, I've actually made some more uh, 4K drives, uh, 4K storage drives to go in my uh, to go in my system. I will be adding, increasing them. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little bit low on quartz at the moment, so I'll be looking to increase them. Okay, guys. I just. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using a new. I'm using a temporary keyboard at the moment, so. I think what I did is I accidentally managed to drop out of full screen for a second there, so uh, I'm going to have to cut out a little bit where it's kind of gone from being like 1080 down to teeny tiny. So where was I? Uh, oh yeah, I think I was talking about the enrichment chamber, so I'm going to try not to press the button which I just pressed. So was it the enrichment chamber? 
Um, let me just double check what I've got set. So, yep, I think it's the Enrichment Chamber. So, I think to make the Enriched... Yeah, oh no, sorry, Metallurgical Infusion, sorry. Not the Enrichment Chamber. So, somebody suggested making a second Metallurgical Infuser. Um, see if I can find it. Nope, apparently not. Uh, meta... There we go, I, I typed in one too many... Let's try that. Is that right? There we go. So somebody suggested making a second metallurgical infuser. So I can use one for coal and one for redstone. So uh, well, one for carbon, one for redstone. So have I got everything I need for that? No, apparently I need another furnace quickly. Do I have enough in there? I do have enough cobblestone in there. Excellent. Uh, is that all in place? So I just need to drop one more osmium, osmium ingot in there. And then we've made a second met metallurgical infuser to set up. Oh, apparently they don't stack, which is kind of annoying. But... Uh, apparently I'm getting low on redstone as well, so it looks like I'm going to have to, um, I don't know, I want redstone in the metal as confusion, so yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go digging for redstone at some point as well. We're also going to need some carbon, so we'll just grab a stack of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? stack of charcoal to uh, power my second metallurgical infuser um, let's make let's get some more enriched alloys on the go while we um, while, while I talk and talk, uh, start get, start getting going with everything else so let's get all of my machines uh, hooked up so we'll grab one, one metal one metallurgical infuser in there another one there and then finally the enrichment chamber which um, I will possibly be using to is that if I put that in there is that that's infusing so i want to make some osmium dust i'll explain why in a little bit so let's just put half a stack of redstone in there half a stack of charcoal in there excellent and then let's start making up some more enriched alloys so this is going pretty quickly now it's all set up nicely to my um to my main power source how's everything getting along up here so i think it's all looking pretty good so i think the way i think pipes must have become smarter since um, since like build crap because I'm fairly sure when you used to do this if you, if you try to like put in an inventory you'd probably start freaking out and going back in opposite directions but now nowadays it almost seems to look and pipe look at look at a look at a look at a machine like this and go oh I can't fit it in there so I'll carry along the system so it looks like it's not doing too badly now it looks like it's actually keeping everything all of all 14 of these uh, steam dynamos ticking over quite nicely so this is generating a fair bit of redstone flux now so there we go so we're making some more enriched alloys now where were we so we were looking at making so if we type in mechanism again we were looking at making a basic solar panel so to make a solar panel we're looking at so I need three solar panels per solar generator so how many do we think we can make so I want to make four altogether to make uh, I want to make four solar generators to make one advanced solar generator so I'm going to need 12 solar panels altogether which is going to take hopefully I can add this up right uh, I might not have enough actually <laughs> interesting um, I might not have enough osmium. Interest interestingly enough, I thought I had loads. I thought I had loads of osmium, but it turns out I don't. Looks like I should be digging it, digging it up more. Wow, those uh, mechanism machines really are loud. Um, do I have any more osmium knocking about, which I haven't realised yet? Let's have a quick look. Osmium anywhere? Oh, I have got more os osmium ore. Excellent. So let me just swap out this iron ore for osmium, and we'll just uh, smelt you up. Stick that iron ore back. Uh, let me just take a half. I want a few extra just in case I need some more, because I know I need osmium dust for something in this recipe somewhere, yep. So I need osmium dust, so I want to keep a little bit of you knocking around, so let me just take a few more out, and hopefully that should just smelt up into some more osmium, fingers crossed. Um, so where were we? So we need to make our solar generator, so I'm going to need um, 36 osmium ingots to make that, so has that started smelting it? No, it hasn't. So if we grab the osmium dust there, we need to start smelting you up in the redstone furnace. So let's swap out pulverized lead for pulverized uh, osmium. There we go. So that should start smelting up. Let me just uh, grab some osmium back. Excellent. So we've got uh, five in there now. Wow, this texture pack really is slightly annoying for uh, seeing what's in my ME system, but hey-ho. So, um, let's chuck you in there. So, I wanted to make 12 of these solar panels, so I'm going to need a few more enriched alloys. So, let's go downstairs and check out um, how my metallurgical infusers doing. There we go. So, we've got 12, uh, 12 more enriched alloys. So, I think we've got more than enough now. I think 12 is what we need. So, that's perfect. So, let's go back upstairs, chuck these into my ME system and then hopefully we should be able to make 
Four. Oh, okay, that's because I'm out of glass. So, let's make some more glass panes. Do I have any glass in there? I've no. I apparently don't have any glass. Interesting. Do I have any? Uh, do I have any glass anywhere else? Is the next question. Um, not there. So it looks like I need to smelt up some sand. Should have plenty of sand. There we go. So let's just make a stack of glass. Um, and as always, if you're short on sand, you can always just pulverize up cobblestone, and that will make um, sand instead. So let's just chuck sand in there. Start smelting up some glass. Uh, what else do we need to make these solar generators? So we need osmium dust. I want to be careful of that. I don't want to put it into my system. So let me go downstairs and start uh, infusing some osmium dust in the enrichment chamber. So let's chuck you in there. So that should so that, so that should infuse up into two osmium dust. That should make 24. So that is pretty much bang on what we need. So I'll get that underway. Do I need any osmium dust for the wind turbine? Uh, not at the moment. I do, however, need osmium ingots and more enriched alloys to make this energy tablet so I think I need to chuck some more iron into here wrong place iron needs to go in the red one the redstone goes redstone or carbon goes in there uh, so we're making the osmium dust we'll uh, leave that to uh, to what's the, word, what's the word I'm looking for process we'll leave it to process while we go and look about doing some other things um, so where were we so we're making so hopefully we've got enough glass to make some glass panes now there we go Let's make two of you. That should be more than enough. Can I? That's not what I wanted to make. I wanted to make these solar panels. So I need to make another eight of these, I think. There we go. That should be enough. We've got 12 altogether. So that should be three times four to make the advanced solar. Excellent. So we ch chuck that back in there. Uh, so we need to make one of these energy tablets. So we need enriched alloys and gold. Can I make one? Uh, so how many of these do I need? So I need one, two, three. So apparently, yep, yeah, I definitely need more enriched alloy. So let's go downstairs and see how much more of that we've got. So it's turning out this enriched alloy is extremely important. So I might even need more iron than I've already put in there. We shall see. Let's just fly back up. Uh, I've got energy tablets. One, two and three so i need one more of you there we go there's the four energy tablets that we need um so let's just chuck them back in the system for now and then if we shift click you what else are we missing oh yeah more enriched alloys so let's just um go go back down go back, blah, 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 blah. go back downstairs grab them and the osmium dust that hopefully we've made there we go so a lovely osmium dust a bit more enriched alloy do we need any more? Maybe, maybe we do. Let me just have another quick look. Um, I'll grab one more and then I'll go back upstairs. Fingers crossed. Come on, metallurgic infuser. I think I'll have this kind of automated at some point using my ME system, but for now I'm just kind of having to do it a little bit more manually. So hopefully that should be now be enough enriched alloys. So, yep, that's enough. Excellent. So. Let me have a look. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Excellent. So, oh, we didn't actually need anywhere near as much osmium dust as I was expecting, which isn't too bad. So, there we go. So, we've got our four solar generators. So, now we'll be looking to make our advanced solar generator. And apparently, it this refuses to shift click. I think somebody said that's because they don't stack, so they won't shift click in place from before. So there we go. So we've made our advanced solar generator. So that's one of the machines I wanted to make in this episode. So we also want to make a wind turbine. So let's... Uh, okay, so apparently need more enriched... So do I have the iron required to... Yep. So let's just make a few more enriched alloys. Hopefully uh, I've made enough now downstairs. I can just leave these two processes up for other things. I've got four. Is that, is that enough? Um, it should be... I'm not sure. Oh, apparently I'm out of redstone as well, so let's chuck a bit more redstone in there. Excellent. So let's uh, double check, see if I've got enough from rich alloys. If not, I know exactly where they are. Uh, at some point, I might, I might also, once I've started making more floors, I might also put like a teleport system in here. That would, that would be quite cool to have like, so I'll be able to just teleport up to all of the uh, different levels that I need to be. So I needed two of these energy tablets. And then, in theory, I should be able to... What am I missing? Oh, I need an electronic circuit. I know I have one spare. 
as I was checking around in my uh, boxes before starting out, and I happen to have one spare electronic circuit. So apparently mechanism crosses over a little bit with industrial craft. I think you can also use control circuits, which is part of the mechanism, which is literally just an enriched alloy and two redstone, but I happen to have a spare electronic circuit. So there we go. So we've managed to make the two machines that I wanted to make in this episode. Hello, creepy creeper that stood right outside my door. So now I need to figure out whether or not these will hook up to my redstone energy conduits. So, <laughs> I love how you got like a little mini wind turbine in your hand. If you put it, I don't think it fits indoors, so uh, that's interesting. Still need to automate my magic, automate my magic crops as well at some point, which I will get around to. So let's kill this. I think it's like a thorncraft creeper or something like that. So I'm just going to back away. For some reason it like sucks things in, which is bizarre. I don't know what, what it really does. Ow. And it kind of like shocks you a little bit. So there we go. I've managed to pick up a heart there. So let's see if I can... Wow. That is cool. And I can't... Now the, the real question is... Does that connect up? I don't know. I can't tell at the moment. It looks like it's connected up. I think you're supposed to connect it up to that green dot. Um, I need something that takes in redstone flux just to hook up to it really quick to see if it actually gains anything. Um, let me have a look. What have I got in here that I can just bash up real quick? Um, magma crucible? I suppose that'll do. Just to... Hang on. Let me get my wrench out. There we go. Just wrench you up. See if you... Uh, see if you... See if that is actually producing redstone flux. Like, I think it's supposed to. It can produce, like, uh, mechanisms jewels, or it can also produce redstone flux, although most of my base is running off that, so that's probably what it produces. Let's plop you down. Is it getting redstone flux? Wow, it is! Awesome! So, that is currently producing redstone flux using my wind turbine. Pretty sweet. I'm not entirely sure I approve of the, um, the mechanism, like, noises that they make, but hey-ho. Uh, we shall also plonk down the solar panel. Uh, I'll wrench you up. I don't need you to, um, do you were a proof of concept. So, oh wow, that is pretty sweet. Um, so let's make sure, yep, there we go. So the solar panel is now hooked up as well. Oh, excellent, so it actually tells you how much it's producing. So it's producing 50 redstone, redstone flux, uh, and it's outputting 144 redstone flux. Sweet, does this, does this tell you as well? So this um, outputs 115 redstone flux per tick, and that outputs 144 redstone flux per tick, which is, uh, which is not too bad, I think. Uh, we now need to connect this up to my, um, What's it called? The rest of my system. So, oh bloody hell! I've just got a random, random hole there. So now I need to f figure out whereabouts my cabling comes in. So let me just grab an ordinary shovel. Uh, oh, I got one in here. Uh, it's broken, but I can fix it, I suppose. Um, do I have some cobblestone on me? Um, flint shard. Is it a flint one? I'm, I think it might be a flint one. So let me just have a quick look. Uh, I'll just bung it in here real quick. Uh, yep, it is flint, I think. So, will that repair? Nope. I think it might be cobblestone then. I thought it had flint tools, but apparently not. Um, are they around here somewhere? There's my flint hatchet. I thought I had a flint shovel as well. Oh, never mind. Let me just grab a little bit of cobblestone quick then. Just grab one out of there. Well, 64, sorry. One stack. Um, put you there. Put you there. There we go. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was stone bound. So now we need to figure out whereabouts my cabling comes in. So I can just connect it up real quick. Connect it up to my system so it's not just producing redstone flux into nothing. Um, I think it's around about here somewhere. Let me just have a quick dig around. I'll find it eventually. Uh, whereabouts is this? This is... Oh, it's not too far away, I don't think. Um, let me just dig a couple more along. Because my... There, my redstone furnaces. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. So I can hook it up like so. Oh, let me just um, wrench you up. That's not right. Um, what do I want to wrench up? This is kind of like hidden at the back at the moment. You can't really see it, but um, let me just dig up. Ah, here we go. Let me just dig up you, and then I can bring you along like so. I'll need I'll neaten all this up in a second, and now I'm stuck. Excellent. So it's just. Ah, let's just, ah, bloody hell, I did not want to do that. There we go. Let's, let's get out of here. I'm running out of redstone energy conduits, so I might not have enough to actually get there. So I might have to make some more of this off camera. Turns out I am. It's not quite close enough. That is annoying. Very frustrating. 
Hang on, let me see if I can make up some more redstone. So, hang on, I don't want that coming up like that. So let's just bash you out. Uh, just trying to need, just trying to neat this up a little bit. So I'm literally need two. I literally need two more to hook it up. Well, that's just frustrating. Um, so a little. Hang on a minute. I might have uh, some extra downstairs that are currently hooked up to my mechanism machines, but I don't need. Um, uh, is this the most efficient way of hooking this up? I don't. I don't know. But I'm, apparently I'm a little bit short on redstone energy conduit. But I think I'll probably hook that off. off hook that up off camera. But at least we at least we made it. So I've made a couple more red. I've made a couple of mechanism machines just because they look cool. I just like the fact that it's like a massive wind turbine and a massive solar panel. So because these are actually reasonably cheap to make. I mean they're not exactly um, expensive, especially like the wind turbine. It outputs a lot of redstone. It outputs a lot of redstone flux, um, like 100, 115 redstone flux per tick, and that outputs 144. For to be honest, the the wind turbine is dirt cheap, and in theory, if, if you could connect these up to, say, um, I think you might be able to like connect these up to uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, can I? Ooh, can I can just wrench these up? I might just move these closer. Yeah, I think you connect. I think you can actually connect these up to. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Connect these up to industrial craft machines as well which would be pretty sweet and then I wouldn't actually have to build anything any kind of too many complicated um, uh, industri industrial wow that's kind of weird is that actually working apparently it is and it doesn't actually lose any of its redstone flux when you wrench it up that's pretty cool I like that so so yeah I've kind of got my two machines set up this will probably look a little bit better once I can neaten things up with some more redstone energy conduits but yeah if I can hook these up to industrial craft machines as well that'll probably provide a much cheaper way of providing EU to some of my basic industrial craft machines until I can get something a little bit more advanced so yeah um, that was kind of fun. I've enjoyed this little episode, just putting together a few more um, renewable, uh, renewable energy mechanism machines instead of having, having to rely on things such as my uh, redstone furnaces producing um, producing charcoal for me to burn. So uh, we're moving away from dirty carbon carbon emitting uh, energy sources to nice renewable clean energy resources such as my wind wind power and solar power. But yeah. I'm going to leave the episode there. As always, guys, don't forget to leave comments. It's lovely chatting with you, interacting with you. It's the best thing to do as a YouTuber. Apart, uh, apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.